today's lesson is about the roles. The roles are very important because these ones do uh, regenerate your billing and your uh, correspond with your, your hourly rates. Make sure that those ones are set up correctly will also enhance your correct billing to your clients. Well, how do you set it up and, and what do you set up? You have to go to admin, finance accounting and invoice because of course this is a, a money related item. And here you will find the roles. We have already set up a couple of them in here. Uh, that's basically a couple of basic ones. You have the administration one that says day-to-day -day admin tasks. That's something you can't bill for. You click on the little pencil mark, you get a little uh, pop-up menu where you have those default uh, items. Uh, here you can see indeed it's, uh, it's zero dollar and it's also uh, block hour multiplier is one. There's a couple of more rates. I'm gonna create a new one. That's the one that's usually we, uh, we use and that's called telecom work. Basically a role description is the same one too. Let's say it's specialized work, it's $165 an hour. Block hour multiplier, um, I will get to you in the block hour contracts, we'll give a little bit more detail to this one. Uh, but maybe I'll put already a different multiplier here because usually the block hour is based on the default uh, work. Now you're gonna add a special uh, rate in there that has a little bit uh, different handling. So I'm gonna put it at 1.25, it's a little bit more uh, higher. The text category, I'll put it already to high. And this one is never included in any contract. So I'm going to exclude it from new contract. Also going to show you how to exclude it on a different way. Once you're done, you press save. Of course, there will be an extra notification because you're going to exclude it from all new contracts, meaning that this particular role cannot be used in any of the, the new contracts. So if you are okay with that, you press okay. Now, don't worry that this is not a fixed setup. So you can always press in there and, uh, and select this new rate and then basically decide, okay, uh, what needs to be changed. A, a role name is by default not assigned to any resource. So as you can see here right now, it's not available. By default also, you can have several roles per engineer. Let me show you a quick, uh, quick difference of this one. I already opened up here a, a default time entry uh, on a particular workstation. And here we have the section that says role. Right now, as an engineer, you can select what kind of role will, be, will you be using. Is it like the engineer? Then of course your time entry will be with that particular rate. But if you do like project manager work, then you have to select that role. And that way you have a different, uh, different rate for the billing. Now you saw that this particular telecom rate was not in there. I'm gonna edit this telecom rate. And then resources. That was nothing, so we have to make sure that we go to the resources section. And we specify that this particular rate is also available for this particular resource. We go to edit this particular resource. And under associations. This is where we have the queues, the line of businesses, but also the service desk roles. Here we press then a new, and now we can select this telecom rate that's going to be available too. And as you can see, the help desk was not selected for this particular engineer too. So we select this one. We don't make a default because we have the default the engineer. Probably this is a true engineer that makes it the default. And now here on the bottom we have telecom rate included for this particular engineer too. Make sure again to press save and close here. Once that is done, we can go to this time a ticket. We can do a new time entry. And once the time entry screen pops up, we can go to the role. And now you can see now my telecom rate is here. Now this particular engineer can now book time with the role as a telecom and it has a higher rate and it's that's specialized. Now it could also be that this particular engineer, now that he has that availability, does some work on a contract and that telecom rate would be kind of be absorbed into the contract. We don't want to have it because telecom is, is in this our case not a default uh, set. There's on the contract, which I just opened up any contract, there's a uh, section that says exclusions. When you go there, you have the option to exclude a couple of items. Now here there's, we have already a exclusion set for workstations, a default set but you can also uh, select it by role or even work type. So in this case, we added that role and we're gonna say this role is not excluded. We already made it a default for, uh, for all new contracts, but your existing contracts have not been updated. It might be that you have maybe some old uh, 
uh, agreement with your client that it was included. Going forward, it's not included, but do you find out this particular client? No, telecom would not be included. So now you can exclude that role in here too. And then once you have it here, you press save. And now this particular contract doesn't have it. So when a one of your engineers that has the availability to do telecom work and has that role available, if we will put a time entry against this contract, the system will automatically exclude it and will present it to you as a billing item. So that uh, gives you a lot of less stress now with the billing because you have it con in control right now. As long as your engineers uh, enter the right data, the right role, your billing will be perfectly fine. Well, that's all about roles. Uh, now you can see how much important is it connected to billing, but you can set up some items where you uh, enable what kind of roles are available per engineer. An engineer can have multiple roles, so the engineer needs to select which role he's actually performing from. Uh, there's ways to exclude it from the contract, and this, this way it ensures that you also have the proper billing. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, add a comment on our Facebook, Facebook group.